Amen. Have you heard preachers say it for years that God don't dwell in the unclean temple? Yeah. You ever heard preachers say that? Yeah. That's a lie. That's a lie. It ain't no scripture that says that. No. All right, everything in here. Do you know your body belong to God? Amen. So he got the right to tell you what you can do, what you can do with your body. Yeah. He got to present your body what kind? A living sacrifice. What kind of sacrifice he wanted to be? Holy. Holy and what? Acceptable unto God. No, acceptable unto William. Acceptable unto God. Acceptable unto Jennings. Unto God. Baker. Unto God. Acceptable unto God. Who God accepted? Unto God. No, Ron Skaleski. Unto God. Matt. God. Who got accepted? Acceptable unto God. Everybody in here got to present everything about yourself unto God. Unto God. And it got to be holy. Holy. Acceptable. acceptable. Unto God. And then what else we got to do? Which is your reasonable service. How much service? Your reasonable service. How much service? Reasonable service. Now when we give him this service, <laughs> what change we got to be making? And be not conformed to this world. Uh-oh. Amen. I told you. Be not when conformed. When we say we're God's people, we can't be like the world. That's right. The Bible said, be not conformed, conformed to this world. What, what got to happen to us? But be ye transformed. And where the transformation got to begin? By the renewing of your mind. Hold up. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The first thing Hallelujah. that must change Hallelujah. is your mind. Mind. That's if right. If I think different, my heart will change. Hallelujah. If my heart change, my lifestyle will change. That's right. That's right. Tell the glory to God. Be ye trained. Your Lord. mind must change. That's right. That's In right. order for my mind to change, yeah. I got to humble myself. Oh, yes. Oh, In yeah. order for me to walk with God, I got to humble myself. That's right. Somebody say, well, Pastor Jennings, I pray. Prayer is no good no without good. humility. That's right. In fact, humility must be before prayer. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Someone say what? Yes. Oh yeah. Prayer don't mean nothing mm -hmm. without humility. That's right. Humility is the forerunner. It must be before prayer. That's right. Let's show you this in the book of Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and at verse 14. Follow me. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. Listen good. If my people. Uh oh. My people. Here's God making stick in the claim again. If my people. <laughs> If my people which are called by my name, what's the first thing they got to do? Shall humble themselves. Then what's next? And pray. Humble themselves. And pray. Prayer without humility yeah. is vanity. That's right. That's right. Prayer without humility Amen. is vanity. That's right. What do you mean? You don't go before God like you so clean. No. You don't go before God like you so pure. Amen. Have you heard preachers say it for years? That God don't dwell in the unclean temple. Yeah. You ever heard preachers say that? Yeah. That's a lie. That's a lie. It ain't no scripture that says that. No. God don't dwell. Oh, Pastor, you not thought that was true. Oh, yeah? Mm. Was you clean when you received the Holy Ghost? <laughs> or you received the Holy Ghost so the Holy Ghost can clean you up? That's right. You received the Holy Ghost so the Holy Ghost can clean you up. That's right. Holy Ghost came in a dirty temple. Amen. If you was already clean, you don't even need the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Bible ain't never said it. He don't dwell no, in the no. unclean temple. No. Everybody in here now with the Holy Ghost. Mm. You're still not clean. Yeah. That's why you're fasting and praying. Yeah. And the word of God is being preached to clean you up. The mm. Bible says you're clean through the word. That's it. That I spake unto you. That's right. Hallelujah. The word come in a dirty house yeah. and start cleaning you up. That's it. You start slowly but show you laying aside this, laying aside that, laying aside oh, it's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Laying aside the other. That's right. What? That's right. Holy Ghost come in you to clean you up. That's right. Why? Because you're dirty. Amen. Go God don't do on no unclean temple. Mm. That's exactly where God come. That's right. Within the unclean. The Lord said. Listen at this. Now, listen at this in the book of Kings. Now in 1 Kings chapter 8 and at verse 12. God dwells the Lord where the said, darkness is. That's right. And darkness is unclean. Give me chapter and verse. 1 Kings chapter 8 and at verse 12. Solomon. Then spake Solomon. Then spake Solomon. The Lord said. The Lord said. That he would dwell. That he would dwell. In thick darkness. Thick darkness thick is darkness. Unclean. That's right. Wickedness. That's right. Thick darkness. Where you're ignorant, blind, uh, deaf, and dumb to right. the will of God. Amen. Many folks say, well, God started dealing with me when I came to the light. Uh -uh. Oh, God no. started dealing with you in the darkness. That's right. 
So open up your understanding That's right. and bring you to the light. That's right. That's what God does. That's right. He steps in the darkness Amen. where you don't know him. Yeah. Then start dealing with you. Mm -hmm. And then your understanding starts to come open and gradually, slowly, he bring you to the light. That's right. Just like when the day starts. When the next day start, notice, it never start with the sun shining. It start when it's night. That's right. For the Bible said when the Lord rose early in the morning, oh, while it was dark. yet what? Dark. 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 And that's the way God did with your understanding. That's right. He starts you off sinner. Sinner. And just like that day, light gradually, mm -hmm. gradually, gradually the sun shine and illuminates the earth. That's what happened to our understanding right. and our development in God. That's right. Gradually and slowly, the darkness is move away. And the more we understand, the better we can do. That's right. God dwells. Hallelujah. The Lord said. My, my, my. The Lord said it, the, not me. The Lord said. Give chapter and verse again. First Kings chapter 8 and at verse 12. The Lord said. That he would dwell. He would dwell in thick darkness. Thick. My God, man, when you're in thick darkness, you're in gross ignorance. That's right. Huh?